Hey, what's up guys? So, hey, what's up guys? So I had this idea today. It's so nice out. Why not do like a little urban hike? Uh, we'll talk about some government stuff. Talk about some history stuff. Um, I'm walking from my house downtown. It's a couple mile hike. Um, so I'm going to stop. Uh, it's various stops that involve government history. And then uh, there'll be some Ed Puzzle questions that pop up as you do this. So I figured just since it's so nice out, sun shining, I looked at the stay at home order. They said that uh, police won't stop you if you're walking. So I feel like I should be, I'm not breaking the law. So I should be fine on that too. All right, so I'll check in uh, next time when we get to the next spot. See you. All right guys, so our first stop, which may sound kind of, kind of loud, it's, it's kind of weird, uh, but this is the Interstate 90 behind me. Okay, what does this have to do with government? Well, the interstate system was built in the 1950s, basically to have a uh, quick way for our military to mobilize in the event that we went to war with Russia. So this is the federal government highway. We have state highways. We have federal highways. Okay, the federal highways are still maintained by state authorities, but okay, this is the first stop. And even our roads in this interstate, Interstate 90, shows government involvement in our lives. Yeah, the next stop. All right, guys. So I'm coming up on the Lorraine Carnegie Carnegie Bridge. Uh, it's actually its real name is the Hope Memorial Bridge. This bridge was built in the 1930s. Um, however, it's a Cleveland landmark, and lots of tourists um, when they come to Cleveland and want to come check out this bridge. And I'll show you why behind me. Right here, you have—I don't know if you can see it. The book of make out, but right there is uh, the guardians of transportation. They're called. So let's walk a little bit closer. All right. So these are meant to be kind of like in Greek Roman type uh, style. You can also see the Cuyahoga River down there. That's the river that's caught on fire multiple times because of pollution and things like that. So maybe here you should be able to get a better look at these guardians of transportation. So you see this one has, um, has a car. Each one has a different um, type of transportation that they're holding. So there's a train, there's a car, and there's two other ones. This is, again, they're called the guardians of transportation. Um, this, again, a Cleveland landmark. So it's kind of cool. You see the other ones behind me. There's four of them. Okay, there's one on each side. So you see this one facing me has the car on it. Okay. And again, there's the Cuyahoga River. See ya. All right, guys, I'm officially downtown. Just got off the Carnegie uh, Bridge, the Hope Memorial Bridge. Here you see another one of these guardians of transportation. This one has a truck in its hands. Um, again, in the Greco-Roman style, uh, constructed in 1930. Behind me also, you see your tax dollars at work. Let me get this in the shot. You see these construction guys uh, working on the bridge, paid through with tax dollars, okay? Also behind me, uh, you can see Progressive Field, which is where the Indians play, right directly behind me. Um, you can see there on the, on the side of your screen. Uh, so what does that have to do with tax dollars, tax government? Well, in the city of Cleveland, they pass what's called the sin tax. And with the sin tax, when you buy uh, alcohol or cigarettes, it's a tax that's given to the city. I believe it was a city law, not a uh, county ordinance. But so basically, when if you buy cigarettes or alcohol in the city of Cleveland, it's taxed. Certain taxes added to it, and it's used to help re and uh, keep these stadiums up to date. Which is controversial because a lot of people don't go to sports events; they have nothing to do with sports. So why are their tax dollars being used to pay for it? It's been a controversial tax law in Cleveland. I believe it was passed probably four years ago now. I think it's uh, expired. The law. I don't think they're doing it anymore. But um, I'll have I'll link something in the in the comments about this for questions. All right, later. America. Hey, what's up, guys? All right. So behind me is the U.S. Carl B. Stokes Federal Courthouse. This is the fourth largest courthouse in the United States. Okay. So if you break a federal law, which hopefully none of you ever do, this is where you'll end up if you committed that crime in this district. Uh, this building houses circuit court judges and uh, district court judges. Uh, so 
this is kind of the home of the federal court system here in this district of the United States. You also can see, let me walk you in a better shot of it. Let's see, you can kind of see the statue right there behind me. Uh, the statue is called Cleveland Venus. It is 37 feet tall. And it is about 11 and a half tons of bronze. So again, here is the federal courthouse in Cleveland, Ohio. All right, hey guys, what's up? So, back here, pretty much in the center of downtown Cleveland, which is Public Square, uh, here we have the uh, Soldiers and uh, Sailors Memorial. This was uh, opened in July 4th, 1894. This is a memorial, get it in the shot. This is a memorial to all the people that died from Cuyahoga County fighting in the Civil War. Again, this was opened, in July, opened on July 4th, 1894. And this is dedicated to the soldiers who died from Cuyahoga County fighting in the Civil War. So I'll walk around and get some closer look to the statues and stuff. So let's check it out. All right, so we have this up here. Some statues up here. This this uh, obelisk here is like 130 feet tall as well. So we'll keep walking around. Usually this is open. Usually you can go inside. I've been in here one time before. You can hear all the whistles behind me. It's not stopped downtown. Um, like I said, you used to be able to go into here before the whole virus thing. Uh, I've been in here once. It's kind of cool inside. Here you have a mortar team. Yeah, this basically, what a mortar is, is basically you put a big cannonball into a mortar and it shoots it high in the air and it's so you can bomb. It's like bombing over high walls and stuff like that. Get a little closer look here. Okay. This here's the entrance. Usually it lets you in. Usually you can walk right in. And you can see, currently we cannot. For the foreseeable future. Crime shame. Keep walking around here. Whoops, almost dropped my phone. What do we have here? Okay, at short range, this is called. This is a cannon team. Okay, more statues. Keep walking around. And then the last one here is the color guard. Color guard is who protects the banner, the flag. Okay. Check it out. See the sailors, soldiers behind me, defending the flag. All right, moving on. All right, guys, I am here at the War Memorial Fountain. You can see it there behind me. Uh, this memorial is for all the people that are from the greater Cleveland area who fought and died in uh, some of the United States' wars. Normally, obviously, it's called a fountain, so obviously, normally, there'd be lots of water. It's a pretty nice area uh, if it were on, but I think because it's still winter, they have the water shut off. Uh, if you go around the fountain, let's walk up to it over here. Okay, if you go walk around, you're going to see the names of those that have died from Cleveland. This is not all of Cuyahoga County. This is just greater Cleveland area. So if I go down here, you're going to see some of these names. Okay, this was uh, dedicated, built in 1964, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 64, that's correct. Um, so right when the kind of the Vietnam War is starting to ramp up, this was uh, erected and dedicated. Um, Again, normally there'd be water shooting up. This is the Cleveland War Memorial Fountain. All right, guys, so I'm here down at the Federal Reserve Building. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it. It's right here. You can see how big and imposing that is. Uh, this building was finished construction in 1923. Uh, remember, the Federal Reserve Act was passed in 1913. This is what created the Federal Reserve. Uh, and this is the fourth district of the Federal Reserve, which uh, encompasses Kentucky, 
uh, Illinois, Pennsylvania, maybe not Illinois, Pennsylvania, I know for sure, a couple other states. So this is kind of the home of the Federal Reserve, the Central Bank of the United States, for this district uh, that we live in. So let's uh, walk up a little bit closer. Across the street without getting hit. Okay, normally there'd be a museum open to that we go into, but obviously that's not going to happen. Okay, here we have some of the sculptures in the front, Federal Reserve. Okay, and there'll be some review questions that pop up on the video through Edpuzzle in this part of the video. Here's the Federal Reserve. Remember, we watched that video in class, if you're in my regular government classes, on the Federal Reserve. You can go in here, this is where they literally they print money here, they destroy money, set policy. Okay, federal government, right here in downtown Blue. See you next time. All right, guys, so now just down the street from the Federal Reserve Building is Cleveland City Hall, right behind me. Okay, this is where the city council meets. In class, we've spent the majority of time learning about the federal government and the state governments, but you also have to remember there's local governments and there's city governments, okay? So this is where the city council meets. The city council, uh, there's different wards within a city, which are basically kind of like congressional districts, but for a city, uh, they have elected members, a city council. Um, so this is where, which the city council is basically the legislative branch of city government. And this is where they meet. I've been to several city council meetings here before. Uh, you can, public, it's open to the public, most of them, and then you can go in and ask some questions again, get a better look at it here. Cleveland City Hall, city government, downtown Cleveland. Check it out. All right, guys, I'm here in front of the Cuyahoga County Courthouse. This will be the last uh, stop on this walking tour. So here is, okay, if you commit a crime in Cuyahoga County or you need permits processed, things like that, this is where you go, County Courthouse. Across the street, you have what's called the Justice Center. That big, tall building right there is the Cuyahoga County Jail. You do not want to end up there. Okay, you walk down. So a lot of the court proceedings and stuff occur right in this part of downtown Cleveland. Again, you got the courthouse right here. You see the two flags behind me, state, the Ohio State flag and the, the United States flag above that. On my left, you have the Cuyahoga County Jail and Justice Center. Hopefully none of you end up down here for any reason that is involved with the illegal activity. All right, guys, so I guess that ends this walking tour. Uh, we saw most of the major government spots here in downtown Cleveland. Nice, beautiful day. Got a nice walk. Now I gotta walk my butt all the way home. It's about two miles from here. Um, and I hope you guys are all having a great day too. I will see you around. Peace!